Bonjour Keto friends! Today we have brought you something from Paris. This okay. is, you're not going to believe it, this is an amazing recipe, real baguette, all low carbon keto, and very easy to make. And we're going to show you how to make it. It's amazing, you guys. We worked really hard to bring you our original recipe, so try it out and let us know what you think. Please let us know how you like it in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe and share Excellent. with your friends. <laughs> bon appétit! Bon appétit! Bread dough time. It's gonna be delicious. First, get your scale, get your mixer. Start with your oat fiber, 40 grams. Then your almond flour, 64 grams. Vital wheat gluten, 190 grams. Next, get golden flaxseed meal. Make sure it's golden. It's a better flavor and lighter for the bread. 60 grams of this. Next, keto sweetener. We like this one. 65 grams. You also need some xanthan gum. Just gonna do a half teaspoon of xanthan gum. Some sea salt, seven grams. We'll put those dry ingredients right into the mixer, give them a little stir. And then, because it's real bread, we're using real yeast. Instant yeast, this one is good, or whatever one you like. Tablespoon, a little over is fine. That goes right in the dry. Next, we're gonna add the wet ingredients. We have two eggs whisked together and not cold, and four tablespoons of butter slightly melted, and we're gonna get one cup of more, very warm water. Into the water, a teaspoon of honey, which is just purely yeast food, so the yeast can make nice bubbles and rise up our bread. This is not gonna affect the final carbs of the bread. Quickly put all of your wet ingredients in and start the mixer. Once it mixes together, switch it to a dough hook so it can knead in the mixer. Pay attention to the texture when you start out. See, look at this. It's nothing, it's just mush. This isn't bread dough yet. When you knead it for seven or eight minutes, it's gonna transform. Let's see. You should start to see it forming a ball. If you use a little bit too much water, you can just get a spatula and help it, help it along in the beginning. Keep on kneading. Three or four minutes in, your mixture might start to jump around a little. You can see it's starting to get stringy, the gluten's starting to activate, but I can still tear it apart, so we got more work to do. I think we've been going for about six minutes now, and it's getting pretty good. We've got two distinct chunks of dough here. Doesn't matter, they're gonna get back together. Checking our gluten. It's a little sticky, stretchy. 
I can still pull it apart pretty easily though, so a couple more minutes will get us to where we want to go. There we go, about eight minutes of kneading time. Let's check out our dough ball. So it might, it might be a little separated, so I'm just gonna do it by hand a little bit. Look at that gluten texture. This is what you want. It should be stringy, it should be stretchy. It should feel like a nice real dough. Might be a little bit sticky, that's totally fine. We can work with that. So work it with your hands into a nice ball and put it in a glass bowl for rising. I like to just drizzle a little olive oil, bottom of a nice big bowl so it has room to rise up. So I'm making it into a nice ball. It gets smoother and smoother. Work with your hands a little bit if you like. And then right in the Bowl, some olive oil on the bottom. Just cover it loosely with some plastic, maybe a clean kitchen cloth on top of that. And I like to put ours in a 100 degree oven. This might rise for about 90 minutes. Let's take a look. So while our dough is rising, here's what else we need to make our keto baguettes come out fabulous. You can get away without it, but one of these nice little baguette pans for baking in the oven is really helpful. It gives you the right shape. Um, something to cut the dough, something to roll out and work the dough with. A little bit of butter, put that on your fingers, gets it not sticky. And if you like, you can put some sesame seeds on it, which is what we love to do. And we're gonna just do a simple egg wash. So let's get going. Let's see how our dough rose. Wow, yeah, that's the best. This is about more than doubled. It looks beautiful. It's soft and springy, nice and warm. We're ready to make some bread. So this amount of dough, this recipe will make four baguette loaves. Okay, I'm gonna divide the dough now. Let's get it out onto our board. I'm just gonna work it real gently. It's real fluffy and soft. Get your nice knife, go in half approximately. half of it away. Look at this. Ooh. It kind of makes these bubbles from the yeast gas, but that's okay. So we'll put this aside and work with this. So since you want the baguettes to be long, what I'm actually going to do, so I'm going to squeeze it a little bit and stretch it. I'm going to cut it in half the long way so it's easier to work with. Regular bread dough, you know, you could roll it a little bit. This is a little bit different, but it's still delicious. So I've got two shapes now, and now you can make them a little smoother and prettier. So I'm gonna just real gently roll them. That's all you need to do until they're about as long as your baguette pan. If you don't have one of these, get a silicone mat or some parchment paper and just roll them out and, put, and let them rest a little bit on there. But since I do have this cool thing, and we'll link it below, you can get one for your own kitchen. That's it. So it has a few seams in it, but I'm gonna put that down. And there we go. Voila, as they say. And number two, you don't have to work it too much. The dough is already really soft. It is really springy and stretchy. That's the gluten doing its job. So clean it up, make it pretty. So you can want to stretch it a little bit, let it rest, stretch it a little bit more. Again, until you're about as long as the pan. Pop the bubbles a little bit. Pop it in there to rest. Okay. I like to let this rest again for about 15 minutes. So let's do that. Let's cover it so it doesn't dry. 
keep it warm. It doesn't lose its nice yeast magic. So the yeast will work a little bit more, it'll get a little bit more puffy, and then we'll throw it in a hot oven. Okay, our baguettes have been resting about 15 minutes. You can see they didn't really rise up a lot, but they did get a little softer and a little fluffier. So now they'll be ready to egg wash, put sesame seeds on, and bake. Simple, simple egg wash, just scramble an egg. Get a little brush and go on with it. Be generous. You want some uh, sesame seeds to stick on it and it gives it a nice, a little bit of a nice crisp texture on your bread. Mm, it's fabulous. You get the little bit of a rustic shape from our dough. These come out fabulous. You're not gonna believe these are low carb and keto. Like any bread making, practice a few times. Hopefully it comes out perfect the first time because you've watched the video real careful, but it might take a little bit of practice. Don't get discouraged. Let us know if you have questions or comments, let us know down below. Absolutely subscribe if you haven't already. I mean, sesame seeds are awesome. We love them on a lot of things, so. Just go out of those. Our oven's already preheating. It's gonna be about 350. If you've got convection, use it. If not, no big deal. These are ready to go. Look at that. Wow, they got huge. Soft and beautiful. Here they are, fresh out of the oven. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Let's taste it. Mm. I mean, it, it's just like a good, beautiful bread. Great texture. You use real yeast in this recipe and, and real gluten. It comes out fabulous. It is a real bread. It's just low carb and keto. Yep. But nice and homemade, so you have the best quality ingredients. Let's put some nice salty butter on it. It makes great sandwiches. And it stays at the refrigerator a whole week, fresh. It's very good, yeah. You don't have mm. to freeze it or anything like that. Yum. <laughs> That's I the best know. thing ever. Yes. Bon appetit, everyone. Please try it. You'll love it. Enjoy. Subscribe and share. Bon appétit